Uh, Coach, at, at this stage in the early in the early part of, of of practice, what are you what are you hoping to see out of them? What are what are what are some of the requirements that you have for well, for just the practice? excitement and, and learning? You know, it's still early. We're still learning. We're learning our offense, our defense, and and, and this week down here is really good. For, go ahead, you got it. Uh, this week down here is really good for us. Uh, we got some kids. Uh, of course, we got several kids back, but we got some new kids, and this is good learning experience and. And this basically getting our offense and our defense, you know, uh, initiated uh, and build on that. What, what have you seen out of the team so far, man? More improvement. Everybody's working hard and getting better. Improvement where? Um, on defense and offense. In the line. Let's go, move, move. What, what can you say about, you know, the success that you guys had last year and how much that's, that's motivating you for this season? Um, we're trying to get way better and go farther than district. And for you yourself, what, what's what's been different about you what, in your approach to, to this season? Uh, what, what have you gotten better on? My hitting. I like to tackle. My speed. Yeah, that's about it. And, and what are some of the personal goals that you've set for yourself? Uh, try to lead the team by and tackles. Uh, I've seen effort. I've seen effort. I've seen more than a lot than last year. And it's changing. It's, I can see it. Why? Why do you think that the what's been the catalyst for that change? Um, what's the reason? Reason? I mean, it's because we want it. We want this season. We want to make it to region. We want to do all that because we're going to make history. What kind of history y'all going to make? A lot of history since a long, long time ago for Caverna. It's, it's going to be a lot. I want to get a ring. That's how bad I want. That's how bad I want to make history. Now, what, what, what can you say about last year and how much that has helped build what you guys are trying to do right now? Last year, um, like our line, this is helping a lot. Like we, we've been doing a lot of work, and I feel like this year we're gonna we're gonna do something. And for you yourself, what's been your growth? My growth. If you want to be for real, my growth is on defensive line. Last year, I wasn't that fast, but this year I'm blowing through everybody off the line. Like, like I finally realized it don't matter how big you are. It's all about speed and using your hands and staying low. If you do all those three things, I can't stop you. Well, what is what has been the techniques that you have used to help you get better? My speed, my hands, things like that, sir. And talk about coaching and the coaching staff and how they've helped uh, bring you guys along. The coaching staff, they they helped a lot. Like if it wasn't for them, I don't know. But like they helped me, like I said, with my speed, my hand movement, and all that. They helped me a lot with all that. So so overall, what's been the biggest improvement that you've seen out of the team? Out of the team, the biggest improvement, district. How we won that. That's the improvement one of them, and all of the rest of them is just, feel me? Yeah. What's your personal goals, man? What, what, what do you hope to do this season? Yourself? So, this season, I want to get more than just 15 solo tackles. One of the games, I'm going to get 10 sacks. I'm telling you now, one of them, I'm going to get 10 sacks. That's, my, that's one of my goals. Yes, sir. And if we, if we had to uh, narrow down a game that you're looking forward to the most, what, what would that game be? Monroe County. That would be Monroe County. Why? Why that game? Because last year, I mean, last season, they did some dirty things, and we was at their home, so we really couldn't do anything about it. But this season, they're going to be at us, and we're going we're gonna to give them all we got. I'm telling you. What, what are you hoping to see out of your team uh, in, in, in these early days of practice? Just practice hard. That's all you can ask. You know, it's 90 degrees out. This is our... Uh, second time today being out, you know, they come out and we go for about an hour and a half. Just ask them to go hard for that hour and a half, and then we'll we'll take a break and come back and go through. We we've been going three days. What's different about this season? Oh, now the, that you the energy, the energy is totally different. You know, last year I begged for leaders, I begged for somebody to step up and be that person, and this year we've got like four. Um, you know, from getting them up at 6.30 um, a.m. to practice, um, to the next practice. You know, I've got um, – Keaton Williams has been showing a lot of leadership skills, you know, 
from cleaning up, getting the younger guys to do things, and those things, you know, they um, they carry over to the field. And the and you know the twins are more vocal this year. Usually the twins don't talk at all, but this year the twins are kind of putting people in place, um, getting guys where they need to be, getting guys motivated, and that's that's making a big difference so far. Now last year you were a first year coach. Yes. Now you've got a little time under your belt. What's what's different about your approach and the way that you that you uh, look at your role in coaching? You know, last year I learned a lot. You know, I, I do know the game of football, but being a being a head coach, you know, it comes with a lot of responsibilities. And um, last year I did a lot of those things on my own. But um, this year, you know, in practice I'm letting um, Coach Hatcher, you know, do our offense. Coach Purcell does our defense. And then I just kind of oversee it and watch what's going on. Um, you know, I was getting water. You know, I do things that, that – everybody should do but i'm just trusting the guys the coaching staff more uh trey's been a big help um he's been taking the linemen on the offensive and defensive side working with them he never played the line but he's he's knowledgeable enough about the game to show them what they need to do and you know we've got a new guy coach thorpe coach thorpe was um really good running back and linebacker from grayson county back in the 80s um he knows the game and you know we're just we're just everybody's just you know doing their part Talk a little bit about your personnel. Um, you know, Dwayne Hatcher, you know, I tease him and tell him he's got 70 years of experience. Um, but Dwayne's been around. Dwayne's been a head coach a couple of times at Caverna. Um, he's been offensive coordinator a couple of times. And, you know, he really knows the game. He's got a lot invested. I think he's one of the longest tenured coaches at Caverna. Um, just um, just putting a lot of, lot of trust and faith in him. Now, don't get it wrong. Now, I will call the plays on Friday night, but I just want um, him and, you know, we got a new middle school coach, Coach Graves. Coach Graves um, comes from down in the Red Bull and Springs in Westmoreland area. Um, he brings 25 plus years of experience to, to our staff. <coughs> he's he's uh, really familiar with the wing tee as well. So, um, excited about him coming in. And, you know, he's already uh, fixed a few kinks that we had in the offense. So, just got a really good group of guys that, that works with us. Man, I gotta set this down. I've seen a lot of improvement. Um, I know last year we were a run heavy team. This year we got a new quarterback, Cortavion. He's been throwing the ball, he's been throwing it. Um, best QB we've had in a while. So we have a lot more adversity now. Uh, last year all the teams had to worry about was uh, twins running the ball. But this year they have to worry about rust. Uh, deep, they have to worry about twins running it. They have to worry about the offensive line, the defensive line. The whole team stacked this year, so uh, I see a lot of improvement this year. What's what's been the catalyst or the thing that's helped you guys to improve like that? Um, a lot. I say a lot of bonding. Uh, good job on the coach. Uh, we're right now we're on an island. You know, coaches are really putting in money and work to help the whole team uh, get better as a whole. So I say really the coaching staff is really bringing us all together. How much has that chemistry translated on the field? What have, what have you seen out of that that's helped to improve things the way that you guys are practicing? Well, as a quarterback, you have to know your wide receivers to be able to get to the ball. So as a quarterback, bonding with the wide receivers, um, that shows a lot of chemistry, you know. And then bonding with the offensive line because they have an even stronger motive to block for the QB. So I feel like all that together has really improved. So talk a little bit about your game and uh, what do you bring to this team? Um, speed, uh, determination. I feel like, you know, once I get out there, you know, get that mindset, uh, I bring a lot to the table. Now you, you're one of the, the younger ones on the team, but talk a little bit about how the older ones have, have provided leadership to, to you guys. Um, to be honest, I grew up with most of these people. Um, but yeah, the, uh, uh, the seniors, uh, they, they, I mean, you go to different school, there's a bunch of different people. Um, teams have 80 people on it. This team is a very small team, but we're still one of the best. The seniors, even though there's a few and they're good, you can really learn from them. Yeah, uh, see uh, Russ is route running. You can see how uh, he put, plants his feet. Uh, 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 Drew, determination. Uh, even when it's hot, like it is today, he's still out there working. So you can see their uh, experience over some of the other players. How good can this team be? And you know, what, what, do you, what do you think you guys do well that will translate into a great record for for, for the season? Last year, we made it to the 
we, we made it far. But that last game, we gave up. This year, there's no giving up. The whole team is in that mindset this year. Way better mindset, mind, uh, mindset than they were last year. I feel like just uh, the, the game in general, everybody here is motivated. They want to win. Last year, they wanted to win. But they want it bad enough. This year, we want it. Now, talk a little bit about Coach and uh, how he's preparing you guys, and, as well as the whole coaching staff preparing you guys to uh, to play. Um, we played in everything. We played. Uh, we, we played in the heat. It is hot today, and uh, there's, there's no there, there's breaks, but there's not a lot. So playing in every type of condition. Whenever we don't want to go to practice, we go to practice. Whenever we want to go to practice, we go to practice. You know, going to practice in every type of condition gets us prepared. Uh, for real games, so uh, running, a whole lot of running. So in that fourth quarter, when it comes down to it, we'll be refreshed. Our team will be tired. That's something uh, not a lot of teams can say. Well, our whole offense team has been going like amazing. Like Tay's been way much better at quarterback. Twins and getting so much more faster. Now since we have Rush as receiver, we're going to be doing so much more better. And our defense, our defense is going to be a whole lot better. Since uh, we have a new player, uh, Jamarion, he's going to bring so much to the team and all that. He's going to do, he's going to do a whole lot better than we did last year. What's different about the mentality this year? Did, did, do you guys put last year behind you? Or is it does it help you to, to understand what it takes to actually win? We're using more the keep us focused on the making it to, uh, to the top and uh, beating all the old teams that we beat last year and making sure we get our uh, just get the wins. What's different about the identity of this team you think? You know, will you guys uh, be a run first team, pass first team? What, what would be the uh, the I identity think, of this squad. I think we're going to be a run team, and then we're just going to switch it up to a pass team. Since we got Russ as the uh, right receiver now, and just going to, just going to catch him. Now, now I see that you're not in uniform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you hurt? Yeah, I hurt my uh, my knee on the uh, first day of camp. Now, what will you be doing to contribute to this team, even though you? may not get to practice, uh, and how long will you be down? I'll be down for like, for like a week now. And uh, the way I've been helping this team out is trying to keep them focused and uh, helping them with the water and all that, making them stay hydrated and all that, and just helping them out as best I can to my ability. Now talk a little bit about the coach, coaching staff, and how they're preparing you guys to play these games. They're getting this. Just straight focused. Uh, they've been helping the linemen out a bunch, and I feel like we're just gonna cook every team that we got. And uh, since they've been helping Tay out a lot, they've uh, they've been trying to find the word for it. They've been helping him just control his anger and all that, so he can stay focused, throwing the ball and out there in the games. What, what has been the main factor for helping you guys uh, come together and build more chemistry? Uh, most of us have been with each other since we were been little. So we all basically know each other a lot and we basically all think of each other as family. And the more we're here, the more we get to build trust and just get to know each other a lot more. Now when we see you back out on the field, what, what, what we see as some of the things that you've been working on? Well, I've been working on my, like, running the ball as running back now and, uh, well, backup running back for the Twins and all that. And just trying to focus on my catching abilities, trying to go as a receiver as well, and just trying to help out the team as I can. What are, what are some of the goals that you set for the team? And what are some of the things you hope, oh, of course, Everybody wants to win the championship, mm -hmm. but what are some of the things that you want to see this team uh, accomplish? Making it back to state. That's why I want my team to accomplish again.
What are some of the, you know, we're out here at Trooper Island, but what are, what are some of the things, you know, team, team building wise that you guys have done to help these guys uh, have more chemistry? Uh, for one, you know, we, we did interview sessions, um, <laughs> believe it or not, you know, some people might laugh at that, but some of these kids aren't used to, to public speaking. Um, you know, I, and I tell them it's not just, you know, speaking in front of a camera, you're eventually going to have a job interview that you're going to have to sit in front of people and, and conduct yourself. And, um, you know, we just, we just do a lot of things to bond. Uh, tonight's going to be one of our first team building, um, events or days Dude, per se you gotta, you gotta um, that, dog. You we're going to um you can't just let them go we're going to go back down to the conference center here in a little while and just get personal with some things and let let some of the newer guys understand some of the adversity that some of the older guys have been through and and you know and they're going to help them get to where they're at now What's, what's the biggest challenge about getting guys who are new? Because I, I talked to a couple guys, and this might be their first year playing football, or even some of them playing sports. What's what's the biggest thing that you need to do to to get them acclimated to to playing? Well, the, to be honest with you, the hardest thing for me to do is keep the kids that we got. Um, you know, you can say what people can say, whatever, but you know, we're we're in a time now to where. Um, you know, it's open that, that, that teams and coaches are coming after your kids. Um, and, you know, at Caverna, we only have, you know, 30 will be the most that we have. But, you know, I'm having a hard job trying to keep the kids that we got. Um, you know, I haven't met a lot of the kids that's that's going to enroll in school. Um, but, um, you know, once school starts, we'll probably have, you know, six or seven more to come out. Um, we'll just go out and tell them what we got to offer. And, let them know some of the things that we've done in the past and some of the things that we plan on doing when the season starts and, and go from there. You talked a little bit off camera a little bit ago about the jump from coordinator uh -huh. to head coach. Talk a little bit about that and, and in a way that people may not understand. You know, when when um, my first stint coaching at Cavern, I was offensive coordinator um, for Nick Stevens, and then I, I was also there for Dwayne Hatcher. Um, you know, when practice was over, I got to go home. Uh, but, you know, being the head coach, you know, I have to be the first one there. And 99% of the time, I'm the last one to leave. And you just have to micromanage everything so that, uh, so that you know, Friday nights are a success. But not only Friday nights, but practice and, you know, just basically everyday things. You know, dealing, dealing with being where the buck stops with you. Mm -hmm. Do you still love it the way that you used to? Or is it, you know, is it a different type of love? It, it, it actually makes me love it more because, you know, you get so personal. You get so personal uh, with the kids. You know, um, I know a lot of coaches don't push faith in their, in their, um, in their programs. Um, but Friday night, uh, I'm sorry, last Monday, we had a kid that got saved in the coach's office. And, you know, to me, that's what it's all about. Because at the end of the day, you want to win and lose. But, you know, when it's all said and done, you want these young men to become, you know, men.